Welcome to this technical training presentation for the Berktold Chroma Fair LED product line, the E558, E668, and E778. This presentation is designed to guide you through the process of replacing LED modules and the central distribution board if necessary. Additional product and service information can be found in the technical documentation provided with the Chroma Fair LED lighting system. Before we begin, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver and the provided gasket tool. To access the interior of the LED light head, you must first remove the three Phillips screws holding the AB ring to the interior column. Once the three screws are removed, remove the two Phillips screws connecting the D-sub connector to the AB ring. This will free the underglass from the interior column and allow it to be removed. To remove the underglass, use the specialized gasket tool provided with the lights to reach under the glass and then very gently pull the glass free from the gasket. When properly loosened, the glass should separate easily from the gasket. Gently pull the glass towards you to release it, and then set aside in a clean location. To replace the LED modules, you must first remove the outer perimeter screws. The E558 and E668 both have three perimeter screws and washers, securing each LED module. Once the perimeter screws are removed, you must loosen the central screw that fastens the LED module to the dome. This is either a recessed screw as shown or a post, which must be loosened. Once the screws are removed, the LED module can be taken out easily. Remove the wire set from the LED module by detaching the Molex connectors. When replacing the module, it's important to mind the dip switch settings on the board. For the dual dip switch, the two modules nearest the cardanic must have dip number 2 on and dip number 1 off. For all E558 and 668 light heads, dip switch number 4 must be on. For E778 lightheads, dip switch number 4 on the quad selector should be off. To receipt the module, connect the Molex connectors to the board and position the module in the lighthead. Lift the module up and delicately place the wire set into the channel built into the dome. Lay the module flat onto the dome and then align the hole with the module. Connect the fasteners with the washer as shown. Repeat this process for the other two perimeter screws. For the central screw, you must tighten the screw by hand just until engaged, being careful not to over tighten. If it's necessary to change the central distribution board in the LED light head, you must remove the central support column first. There are four perimeter screws on the central support column. Once the screws are removed and the wire sets are disconnected, the support column can be pulled away from the distribution board. You should now have complete access to the central distribution board. First, remove the CAN bus connection coming from the Cardanic. Then remove the two power connections to the distribution board coming from the Cardanic. At this point, you can change the Cardanic if necessary by pulling these wires back through the side bearing. Or, if you must replace the distribution board, you can continue disconnecting the other modules. To disconnect the modules, simply release the Molex connections from their ports. To replace the central distribution board, remove the outer perimeter screws. There is also a central screw to the distribution board, which is critical for grounding. This screw must also be removed to free the distribution board from the dome. Seat the new distribution board in the same orientation as the distribution board that was just removed from the light head. Align the outer perimeter screws and fasten them securely. It is critical to insert the central screw. To reconnect the LED modules, reseat the Molex connections in the ports. Please note the sequence is important. Each light head has a different configuration and this configuration is extremely important to ensure proper operation of the light head. Please refer to the E558, E668 technical documentation for proper placement of the modules on the central distribution board. Once the modules are connected, the cardanic wire sets can be reconnected. Plug the CAN bus connection back into its port and then reconnect the power leads to the terminal. Be sure to observe the proper polarity of the wires.
To reattach the central column, begin by plugging in the wire sets that were previously removed. Ensure that the orientation is the same as before. Align the central column to the standoffs, and then fasten with the washers and screws. To reseat the underglass, you must very carefully align the glass with the holes for the Phillips screws. Place the Phillips screw into the hole, and then apply downward pressure onto the central column to tighten the screw. Repeat for the other two screws that support the underglass to the central column. Reseat the D-sub connector into the AB ring and connect with two screws. To reseal the light head, insert the provided gasket tool into the lip of the gasket and guide the gasket tool carefully along the gasket so the underglass slides into the gasket. Continue around the entire light head. Take care when coming to the end to ensure the gasket doesn't tear. Push down on the underglass around the perimeter of the light head to ensure the gasket has fully engaged the underglass. The Chromafair E778 LED features slight differences from the E558 and E668, and in this section we will explain how to service this model. The E778 is comprised of two different types of modules. The outer perimeter modules are identical to those found in the E558 and E668. However, the interior quarter circle modules are unique to the E778. Removal of these modules is similar to the outer perimeter modules, except that there are four perimeter screws and washers for these modules. Unlike the outer perimeter modules, there are three binding posts that secure the central part of the module to the dome. These three binding posts must be loosened to free the module from the dome. To disconnect the module, simply use the Molex connections on the board. For the E778, it's important to note that for the quad dip switch, the dip switch should be in the off position. To reconnect the module, simply reconnect the Molex connections to the board. Then reseat the module and align the outer perimeter screws before tightening. For the three central binding posts, it's important to tighten these only by hand and only until they are engaged. Do not over-tighten these screws. Please refer to the reference diagrams for module positioning when making any changes to the central distribution board. For more information or to reach technical services, please call 1-800-243-5135.